Chaos and confusion in the peak of Denver's morning rush after after a man starts firing a weapon. This was near 8th and Lincoln. Denver police say the gunman just walked down Lincoln Avenue and started shooting and eventually came face to face with police. Now Lincoln's been shut down all day. In fact, just before went on the air, it just reopened. That's right. And that is where Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez joins us live. Ivan, you spoke with people who were right there when the shooting started. And Shannon, good evening. You can see a lot more cars on Lincoln now that the road has reopened. Earlier this morning, we saw a video showing a man walking on the sidewalk in a robe, coming face to face with a police officer, guns drawn, not much further than me, to the camera. Ethan Lincoln, Ethan Lincoln. People traveling on Lincoln between 8th and 11th Avenue remember hearing the sound of gunfire. All of a sudden I heard five pops. I knew right away it was gunshots. I stayed in the house. I wasn't coming out. It, it was scary stuff, scary stuff. Denver police say it all began around 7 this morning. We heard a lot, a lot of yelling, incoherent yelling. Looked over the balcony, saw the person who apparently was shot, um, brandished, waving a gun right in front of Pizza Grill and the cleaners. That's when the police came and gave chase. Shots fired and suspect down. Police say as soon as they arrived, they found the man and killed him shortly after. They say the situation was over within five minutes. Anytime that you have a, an individual that's armed that is firing a, a weapon uh, here in, uh, in, in the city during rush hour traffic, it's a very dangerous situation. Although police say the incident is over, some people were left shocked. I was still shaking, man. I. I I got like all, you know, hyped up, not in a good way. And now that I've come down for a bit, it's kind of, it's sad. Police still haven't released the identity of the man. They say no one else was injured and he was the only one involved. They're also asking anyone else who has surveillance video, either businesses or people who saw this happen, to please contact them as they continue their investigation. For now live in Capitol Hill, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.